What's up everybody, Jay Lowski here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. In this video, we're talking about Lightroom, continuing in our Lightroom series. So let's get into the video. So if you saw my last video, I talked about how I wanted to work on a series about Adobe Lightroom and make a bunch of videos that talk about how to use it, how you catalog your images, how you develop them, pretty much end-to-end. Uh, -end. As much as I know about Lightroom, I wanted to share with you guys out there. I know when you're just getting started in it, it seems like an intimidating program. There's a lot going on in there. So uh, the series is really to help you out and help you get through Lightroom, get started, and start using an awesome program. As we get started in this series, there's a couple things we need to talk about before we get going in Lightroom itself. And that is where to store your photos and where to store your catalog. So quick question, what's the catalog? So the catalog is everything that Lightroom needs to know about where your photos are, how you develop them, how you process them. Because the best part about Lightroom is that everything that happens to your photos when you develop them or edit them is non-destructive. So your original file stays put and the catalog is what tells Lightroom the changes that you apply to your photos. So let's jump over to the computer and talk a little bit about where do I put my photos, where do I put my catalog, and how do I get started in organizing uh, all the photos I might have or the photos that you're gonna be taking. So let's jump over to the computer and get going. All right, so here we are over at the computer. I have a MacBook Pro that I use, but the same idea is gonna apply whether you have a PC or a Mac. So the first thing we need to think about uh, is our photos. Where do we want to store all our photos? Now, what I recommend is that you have one top level folder that all your photos go underneath. Now, I have it set up on an external drive. Right now, I'm just going to show you in my pictures directory here how I would get started. If you don't have an external drive, you know, use someplace on your hard drive. Just know that you might want to move it to an external drive as you get more photos. So here I am in my pictures directory and what I like to call the, that top level folder is just simply photos go here. And there's a good reason that we use one top level folder and we'll talk about that later once we get over into Lightroom. But I'm gonna call this folder, I'm gonna create a new folder here called photos go here. Now that's my top level folder. So next we have the catalog file. Where should we store the catalog file? The catalog file wants to stay on your hard drive on your computer. So it's a little bit different than your photos, which can be on an external drive and that works out fine, but your catalog file you should keep on your computer. Now that's not gonna get huge. It might be a couple gigs once you get uh, thousands and thousands of pictures in there, but for the most part, it's not gonna be too bad. It's not gonna take up too much space on your machine. So here in my pictures directory, I also have a folder called Lightroom, and that's where I keep my catalogs. And as we get going here, I'm gonna create a new catalog so I can show you just how I would set it up from scratch. But I would recommend that you use one catalog file for all your images. All right, so now that we've got our folder set up of where we want to store our photos, as well as where we want to store our catalog, the next step is to get going in Lightroom. So if you haven't already done so, head on over to Adobe's website and download Adobe Lightroom CC. And that's the version that I'm going to be using for these tutorials. And if you need to purchase the Creative Cloud plan, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can do that. And it is an affiliate link. So at no extra cost to you, if you use the link, I do get a little bit of uh, income off of that. And uh, I would I appreciate that. Download Lightroom and then install that on your machine and you're ready to get going. All right, next step, I'm going to launch Lightroom here and create a new catalog. Now I already have a few catalogs, which is why I see this screen here. So I'm gonna come down and create a new catalog. Okay, I'm gonna call this YouTube sample catalog. And I'm gonna choose the directory where I created that Lightroom folder and I'm gonna put my catalog in there. I'm gonna click create and here we are. We got Lightroom up and running. So if you've made it this far, you did a great job. Awesome, you're on track. And that's all I wanted to cover in this video was where are we gonna store our photos and where are we gonna store our catalog? And then we're gonna, then we created that new catalog by opening Lightroom. So great job. If you had any questions or you had any troubles, feel free to leave a comment below and uh, I'll help you out the best that I can. And in the next video, we're gonna start to talk about how do we import photos into Lightroom. So be sure to check back and look for the next video. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And if you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video in this series where we're going to be talking about importing your photos. So I will see you in the next video.